going on everybody in this video I'm going to show you how you can use some Python functions particularly the print function the input function and the len function so let's take a look at that now I'm just going to write over here in some comments we are looking at print so the first one is going to be the print function and the second one is going to be the input function and the third is going to be the len function. Now we don't really know at this point what a function is, but uh, that's okay. We will still get a flavor of how these three things work. All right, so let's talk about the print function first. If I type the word print over here, you'll see that it changes color, right? And that means that print means something very specific to Python. Like I don't want I don't want to name any variables uh, print because uh, I don't want to confuse Python so I'm just gonna type print it means a very specific thing and I'm gonna put an open parenthesis and then I'm gonna type something in a string so I'm gonna give this thing a string and I'm gonna type hello world with an exclamation point and I'm gonna close the parenthesis there and then I'm gonna hit enter and you see it prints you know hello world to the console now what's going on here is that this this print thing this is a function and a function just like kind of like your mathematics like f of x it takes an, an input argument and the input here is a string and the string says hello world so I, I pass these are terms that you want to be aware of I'm passing the string hello world to the print function via these parentheses and then the print function, what does it do? It prints whatever I give it to the console. That's pretty useful, especially in debugging programs. Like you want to print the contents of variables uh, in your in your program. Then um, you know you want it to print these things so you can take a look at the contents of variables. So for example, let's say I had um, something like spam equals five, like this. I could say print spam. I'm actually giving it a variable this time. I'm, I'm passing the variable spam to the print function. I'm going to hit enter, and then it prints the contents of spam 5. So it doesn't even need a string. Okay, it, uh, it will print the contents of a variable if I give it a variable. Again, that's really, uh, it turns out, that's pretty useful. All right, so that was the print function. Now let's look at the input function. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say something like my name is, I'm just going to choose a variable name. So I'm calling that my name equals, so this is an assignment statement. And I'm going to type the word input, and you see that input lights up in a different color. Again, this means something very specific to Python. Input, input is the name of a function, just like print is a function. So I'm going to give it an input via this open parenthesis, and I'm going to type a string, please enter your name like that and then I'm gonna close the parenthesis now when I hit enter what's going to happen is I'm going to be prompted with this message please enter your name and the the Python or the program or the console is going to wait wait for me to input something and then once I input something whatever I input will be stored into the variable my name let's check it out enter Okay, now it says, please enter your name. Now it's waiting. I've got this vertical bar that keeps flashing. So I'll type Marty and hit enter. And then it's done, see? And now my name is in memory. My name is storing the string Marty. So this now, this input function, provides us a way of getting values, you know, a string value or a numerical value, from the user as the program is being executed and I can print now my name my name and I see oh yeah my name is Marty now one thing I can do is uh, print and I can concatenate a message with my name like um, I can say how are you doing space then plus and then my name there's a lot going on there, but let's try to digest it, right? The plus is the concatenating operator, right? Because I'm giving it a string on both sides of the plus sign. 
on the left side is obviously a string. It's containing quotes. How are you doing? And then on the right side, my name is of type string. So that's a string as well. And when I hit enter there, bam, it re returns how are you doing Marty. So it prints that message to us. So that's, that's kind of cool. Now, uh, the third uh, function that I want to cover in this video is the len function. Len, L-E-N, is short for length. And so I can, I can give it, or I can type L-E-N, and you notice that it lights up in the same color uh, as print and input. And by the way, this color might be different for your system, depending on your preferences. Okay, but it's this purple color for me. But they should all be the same, input, print, and len. So len is a reserved word. And I'm just going to put open parentheses. I'm going to send it an input. And the input I'm going to send it in this case is my, my name. And it's going to return five. Five there. Because my name is Marty. And Marty contains five characters. So what Len is doing is it's really just returning the length of whatever we give it. Okay, so that could help us as well, and especially when we look at looping, like for loops, len can be very helpful. So those are the three functions that I want you to be aware of for now. We'll look at many other functions, but in fact you've seen other functions, like you've seen already the, the, the type function. Notice when I type type, uh, that lights up in the same color, that's a function. I'll pass to it uh, my name and it returns str for string because my name is of type string. So that's a function. Uh, str is a function. Like if I said my number equals uh, 42 and uh, maybe I want, an, I want to convert 42 to a string. So I could say str, right? Notice it lights up in that same color. Give it my number and then it returns to me 42 but surrounded in quotes, right? So it's, it's changing, it's outputting the, whatever I give it as an input into a string. So those are two functions that you've already seen before. All right, now, in the next video, uh, we are going to look at how to import modules. And a module is like a library. You can, turns out, input or uh, import modules. And modules are, have tons of functions, like hundreds. One module might have a hundred functions, maybe a thousand functions, and there are a bunch of different modules, so this gives us access to thousands, tens of thousands of different functions. So that's coming up in the next, mod, uh, the next video, excuse me, how to load in modules to get access to more functions. And then further in this course, or uh, in, in subsequent videos, we are going to look at how to write our own functions to accept inputs and return outputs. Okay, thank you very much.